yes this is where we stop in the first part of this uh, video so this is the second part of this uh, video so we have discussed how control how microprocessor can control uh, automatic uh, cooker and uh, ovens we have also discussed how microprocessor can control uh, central heating system so now we are on uh, greenhouse environmental uh, control greenhouse environmental control greenhouse are used to control the environmental in order to grow vegetables in order to grow vegetables fruits and flowers in country that they wouldn't normally uh, grow so uh, this uh, greenhouse environmental control is in the best uh, position to uh, to help here so there are five main sensors that tend to be used in a greenhouse now what are the five sensors the first one is humidity the second one is moisture the third one is temperature the fourth one is ph sensor and the fifth one is light sensor humidity sensor moisture sensor temperature sensor ph sensor and uh, light sensor now what do you understand by uh, humidity in the sensor a humidity sensor is a device used to measure or report both mo moisture and air temperature both moisture and what and uh, air temperature and we all know what is called uh, uh, moisture moisture is what is the water content the water content to know the the the, the level of what of uh, water maybe in, in a soil uh, in a soil so now let's move on now the next one is what uh, motion uh, sensor you know i've i've talked about moisture the other time so the moisture sensor is used to measure the uh, the volume or the content of uh, water the content of water uh, in the soil you know we have what is called so another example of uh, uh, moisture sensor in soil moisture sensor so the soil moisture sensor is used to measure the uh, volumetric water content of uh, soil water content of uh, soil now the next one is temperature we all know what's called temperature temperature sensor we know the function of temperature sensor is to measure the 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 the, the level of what of uh, temperature to know whether uh, the, the, the the temperature is low or not so now the next one is what ph sensor ph sensor is one of the most essential tools is one of the most essential tools that is typically used for water measurement for water measurement this type of sensor is able to measure the amount of alkalinity and acidity in water yeah, is to measure the amount of what of alkaline and uh, acid in, uh, in, the, in, in, in in water so now the light sensor we all know the function of this uh, light sensor is to determine the the the, the 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 ventilation of a particular place to to know or to determine the darkness and uh, light of a particular place so now let's move on let's move on so the computer control the environment by taking input from the sensors 
That is number one. Number two, sensor readings are converted from analog to digital using an ADC, which I have explained before now, that that data must be converted from analog to digital because our computer did not understand analog analog uh, data or analog signal before computer can understand it it must be converted to digital now microprocessor then compares the sensor reading with the preset value so you can see the diagram of what of a uh, green house you can see plants there you can see plants you can see the arrangement of the of the plant so now in this diagram uh, in this diagram all what i have explained here is applicable here it's applicable here don't forget that greenhouse are used to control the environment in order to grow vegetables fruit and uh, flowers now let's continue to the next slide so now this one this slide is all about how how microprocessor can control can control can control greenhouse environmental control using all the uh, listed or listed the uh, sensor to read the data the first one is what humidity humidity when humidity or if humidity is what is greater than preset value computer sends signal to open windows to open window don't forget that humidity measures the what measures the moisture and what and air temperature air temperature so if humidity here is greater than the preset value computer sends signal to open windows to open windows now the next one is what if humidity is lower than preset value computer send a signal to close window to close window so it's just like what uh, uh, vice versa vice uh, versa or in uh, in uh, in opposite the moisture now if motion is greater than preset value computer send signal to turn on heater to dry turn on the heater to dry so it means here now there is a lot of what a lot of uh, water here there's a lot of water here so the water is too much here here because the motion is what is greater than the preset value so we need what we need the heater to dry to dry the water a bit now if motion is lower than preset value computer send a signal to open valve to add water it means that here there's no enough water here there's no enough water because the uh the the the, the motion is lower than the preset value the preset value that is the amount of water that's supposed to be here is 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 lower so we need more water here so temperature under temperature now temperature if temperature is greater than preset value computer send signal to motor to open window to open window so if the temperature is too high automatically there will be heat there there will be heat here so the moment the uh, uh microprocessor sends that there is there is a lot of heat there then the computer will now send signal to motor to motor to open window this motor here is for open and close is a device that normally open and close the window so if temperature is lower than preset value computer send a signal to motor to close uh, window now let's quickly move to ph p if ph is greater than preset value computer send signal to open valve to add the uh, acid don't forget that a ph sensor measured the acidity and and the alkalinity of what of uh, the acidity and uh, and uh, alkalinity in uh, water that is the function of a ph uh, sensor that is the work of what ph uh, sensor so let's move quickly move to light light if light is greater than preset value computer sends signal to motor to close blind then if light is lower than preset value computer send a signal 
to motor to open blind so at this stage now the microprocessor continuously monitor the temperature i hope you are getting my message here yes so now let's quickly move to the next uh, slide let me quickly move to the next slide so this one is all about the chemical process chemical process control chemical process control involves using a microprocessor to control the condition of producing chemicals medicine and food medicine and food so let's say for example that the temperature required for a process to work should be 85 degrees and the acidity should be less than 3.5 so the microprocessor control the, pro the process by the following uh, step the first one using a temperature and ph sensor to read data from the chemical process chemical process so here temperature sensor and hp sensor is to read the data from chemical process now data from sensor is converted from analog to digital using an adc adc which is a analog digital uh, converter which i have explained before before now the microprocessor compare the this the sensor reading with preset values so we have about four conditions here if the temperature is less than 85 degrees 85 degrees don't forget that our preset value here is exact 84 degrees then if the temperature is less than 85 i mean 85 degrees sorry so if the temperature is less than 85 degrees is turn eating on it's turn eating on don't forget less than 85 degrees it turn what eating on because it has not attained or reached the preset value which is 85 degree now the second the second uh, uh, condition if temperature is 85 degrees or more it turn eating off so now this is the preset value this is preset value so if it is equal to 85 degree and greater than than 85 degree definitely the, the 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 eating will be what will be off now if ph is greater than 3.5 don't forget that the ph given here the preset value given here for p for acidity which is ph is 3.5 so if ph is greater than 3.5 microprocessor send the is a, a message or a signal to open a valve and add acid so it means that acid is not enough here so the amount of what of acid here is not enough you can see then if, if ph is what is greater than 3.5 greater than 3.5 so the next the next uh condition if ph is less than or equal to 3.5.5 microprocessor send a message to close verb to close verb so it here it means they have enough acid they have enough acid that is 3.5 3.5 here 3.5 if ph is less than or equals to 3.5 so if it is less than or equal to 3.5 is still acceptable here so it means that microprocessor will now send a message to close verb so at this junction now microprocessor continuously monitor the temperature microprocessor continuously monitor the temperature so we have come to the end of today's uh, lesson thank you and god bless you please don't forget to stay safe